We're halfway through with Boo Crew already. Hey, this is Carrie with Canary Quilts, and this is the second week of the Mystery Boo Crew Quilt Along that Fat Quarter Shop is doing. And if you didn't know, this is actually a free pattern. Um, you can head to fatquartershop.com and I've got a link down below. Um, find this free pattern and you can make this yourself. They do provide a kit, which I have, which I am using. And uh, I have the link for the fabrics down below, but you could use your own material also. So, makes it a fun little sew. And you can do this for free. So this week we have a ghost and it's so cute because he's got a little tail right there and we have a candle and these were not hard to put together at all this is a um, I would say that a beginner quilter could probably do this it's not that difficult I don't know what the next two blocks hold but these first two blocks have not been difficult so if you wanted to get your feet wet quilting and you're watching this because you like Halloween um, I would say this would be a good one to try and it's a free pattern so you're not out anything. And if you want to follow along with this Boo Crew mystery quilt, um, just hit the subscribe button below, hit the notification bell, and you will get notified when I put up my next Boo Crew, which will be next week. And behind me I've got the uh, hat and the broom that we did last week. So I, I'll put a link to that video because I also have a... Uh, Another free pattern right here, this little candy corn, if you want to do that one also. So, stay tuned. So this week I'm just going to walk you through putting these together. They were super quick, they were super fun, and uh, let's get to it. Okay, to get started on week two of the Mystery Boo Crew Quilt Along, I've got my pattern. And again, like I said, this is a free pattern from Fat Quarter Shop. I've got the link below for you to go check it out. Um, they have these beautiful fabrics you can use for this quilt along, or you can use your own fabrics. Excuse me, Snibbers. Excuse me. Uh, you can choose your own fabrics and make your own little quilt. Halloween Boo Crew quilt. But you can quilt along with us by grabbing this free pattern. I also have links to the uh, fabrics below too, so you can check it out. And you always get plenty of fabric when you get a quilt kit from Fat Quarter Shop. So I have got all my pieces cut per my instructions. The alpha bitties here tell me what it corresponds to on here. So I've got A and A. It also shows me where A is being used up here. So these little alpha bitties are great to use when you're cutting a bunch of pieces for a quilt and you need to keep them um, separated and organized. So they have you cut all your pieces for both blocks, the candle and the ghost. So that's where we're at. Most of these are just one piece. Um, just a couple of these have more than one piece in them. So it shouldn't be too hard to put together. And it was pretty easy cutting out too. Start with the candlestick. And I'm going to, it tells you what pieces you're going to need. Like we're going to need G and H here. We're going to make that first. And then we're going to need J and I and we're going to make that. And some more G. So I'm just going to set my pieces aside and start grabbing them as I need them. So yay, let's get started and start sewing these cute little ghosty and candlestick blocks. It's going to be so much fun. Okay, to get started on our candle block for the Boo Crew Mystery Quilt Along, I pulled out the actual um, pieces that I need to get this block done. So we're going to start with G and H. And I only need two G's, so I'm going to pull out two of these. Put this back on so I can keep track of it. And I have marked the back of these with a diagonal. And what we're going to do is put them, we're going to end up putting them in the corners like this, but we're going to start with one. And we're going to sew along this line. We're going to cut a quarter of an inch away from it. And then we are going to iron towards the background piece. OK, 
Okay, there's our first piece. Now we're going to take our J and our I pieces, which are these two orange ones, and we're going to mark a diagonal on the back of those. And we are going to do the exact same thing here on the short side of our rectangle. Put our orange piece up in the left hand corner, so trim a quarter of an inch and iron towards the orange piece and do the same thing on the right hand side for this one. So there is our orange pieces added to the top. Now we're going to take our G, two more of our G pieces, with the background or with the diagonal and we're going to flip this over and put these on the bottom in the exact same way we put them on before. And there is our candle flame. This is the top of our flame. It's going to go like that. This is our candle flame. So, now we're going to actually assemble our little flame unit. We're going to take our K. This is going to go down here. That's our candlestick. And then on the sides are going to be our B units, background units. Just like that. So, we want to sew this to this and we are going to iron towards the top flame and then we're going to sew this to the inner flame and iron towards the black and white piece. So there is our candle flame unit. We're going to add our background pieces to each side and we are ironing towards our background pieces. of our flame unit and next we're going to do the candlestick base which is L and we're going to the last of our G's here and these are going to go on the bottom left and bottom right of our candlestick base basically you're taking your line so that it cuts this corner off so on the line trim a quarter of an inch from that seam and then we are ironing towards the background purple piece. Here is our candle base. It's going to go right there. And next we're going to do the tail of the ghost is going to go right here. So we need our Q. And we have two of these. And we need D. And I have marked a diagonal on the back of my D's also. So we are going to first start on the left hand side of our Q piece. We're going to lay our, P, our D so that it cuts off the upper left hand side of our Q piece. Iron, or sew on the line, trim a quarter of an inch from the seam and iron towards the background. So now we've got our left hand corner done. What we're going to do is go down here to the right hand corner and we're going to cut off the bottom right hand corner. So your diagonal line is going to be parallel with the first diagonal line. It's not like the first ones we did. 
So, so on the line, trim on this side of your line a quarter of an inch from the seam and iron towards the background. So there's our first one. The second one is going to be a little different. It's actually going to be the opposite. We're on the left hand side. We're going to cut off the left bottom piece. This was the left top. This is the left bottom. And then our second piece is going to go over here is going to be like that. So we're cutting off this top right corner. That's the only difference between these two pieces. There we go. That's how these two pieces of the tail will look. Okay, so we want to put together our tail pieces like this. And you can line up your seams right here. Line those up. So a quarter of an inch. And we are going to iron this seam open. Okay, now we are ready to start assembling the bottom half of this block and then put it to the top half. So we take our F section, our F piece, and we're going to put it in between the candlestick bottom, the candle holder, and the ghost tail. So let's start here. We'll put these right side together. Just want to line these up edge to edge. We're going to sew this a quarter of an inch and we are ironing towards this background strip we're putting on. Got that on. We're going to add our ghost detail bottom to this background strip. Match up the ends, sew it a quarter of an inch, and iron towards that middle background strip. And now, we can add this to the bottom of our top section, and we are going to iron towards the candlestick base, or the candle holder, whatever you want to call it, the orange fabric. Basically, iron away from the candle. So there's our candle. It's pretty easy to put together. You got to remember that these are put in opposite. You want your diagonal lines to go parallel on each one of these sections, but they're going to be in opposite corners. And then you sew these together and iron them open. And then we're just adding sections together. We're adding the candlestick section, the candle base to this middle background, and then we're adding the ghost tail to the middle background, and we're ironing towards this middle strip here. And we take this entire section, put it up with our candle, and we're going to iron away from our candle. So that gives us our candlestick and our little ghosty tail. So now on to the ghost. I've got all my pieces ready for my ghost to start building that part of the block. Um, so I'm going to take my A and I only need one. So I'm going to take one of these out and keep the A on here. And I need P. And you need to mark the back of that as a diagonal also. And we're going to put that at the bottom of our A. We're going to sew along this line like we have been all the others, but we're going to cut this bottom right hand part of the corner off. So cut a quarter of an inch away from the seam and iron towards the purple background. So that's our first piece. This is going to connect the ghost to the tail in the candle piece. So we'll set that aside up here. Next we're going to take our end piece and our last two, or two of our C pieces, sorry, there's three of them here. Two of our C pieces, whoops, 
Put the C back on the last piece we got. We will need it. We're marking the back of these with the diagonal. And we are going to sew these on the upper left and upper right corners of this piece. Sew along that line. Trim a quarter of an inch from the seam so you're cutting the corner off and then we are ironing towards the purple background. So there is that piece finished. And I'm going to set that aside. Now we're going to take our L and our, our T and our S pieces. We have three of each. And we're just going to sew a T onto an S. We're ironing towards the black piece, which is the T piece. And then we're going to come back and put these together. This will form the eyes and the mouth. Okay, there's all three of our pieces where we have ironed towards the black. And now we are literally just going to turn that over, sew these three pieces together, and we're ironing towards the outside rows. The eyes and nose of our ghosty. And now we're going to start assembling our ghost. So we're going to take our R and that's going to go on the right side of our eye and mouth unit and we are going to iron towards the this white R strip. And then we are going to take our O and we're going to put that on the left side of our eye and mouth unit and we are going to iron towards that large white O piece. There's that section done. Now we're taking our big old M piece and our last C with the diagonal drawn on the back and that's going to go down in the right hand corner. We're going to sew along the line, trim a quarter of an inch from the line, and trim this corner off, and we are ironing towards the corner. Okay, got that section done. Now we're putting our ghost together. So it is going to go together like this. going to go together like this. We've got these three sections that we did. We have got this section here that we did first thing. It's going to go over here. Our other A piece is going to go here. This long piece is going to go on after we put the candle and the ghost together. So, Let's start here and here. We'll put these two pieces together and we're going to iron towards the top of the ghost. And then we are going to iron, or not iron, sew the bottom of our ghost onto the eye and mouth section and we are going to iron towards the bottom of the ghost. Now we put our two sides on. Remember this white section goes next to the ghost on the bottom. And we are ironing towards the purple strips. And then we're going to add just this long purple strip to the other side, to the right side of our ghost. Ghosty! He's so cute! Or she! I think it's a she. 
Eh, she's awful cute. So, now we are going to put these two together. And then we're going to take our E and put it all the way along the bottom. And we are going to iron towards the ghost. So, line up your edges. And you can line up this seam right here. And your ends. Fill in between. So a quarter of an inch and iron towards the ghost. Okay, now we can put that big long strip on the bottom, our E. Nothing to match, match ends, fill in between, so a quarter of an inch, and we are going to iron towards this purple strip. Look at that, it's so cute. And since I have this done, we are halfway through. So yeah, and it really isn't that too hard, I've, or that hard. So, you know, if you're a beginner quilter, I really don't think you're gonna have any issues putting this together. Um, just make sure you've got your quarter inch good and Follow the instructions and you should have a cute little ghost and candlestick and a witch's hat and a broom so far. Next Tuesday we'll have the next block or blocks out. That will make us three quarters of the way done. So if you're following along with me, make sure you like this video and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that when I put out this, the next part of this boot crew or any of my other content, you'll uh, be notified. And if you want to, you can head over to my website and sign up for my newsletter. Stay in the know with me. But really, I appreciate you following along with me. Let me know how it's going for you. Let me know if you're using their fabrics or your own fabrics. I would love to hear from you, either in the comments below or on my Facebook page. So, thank you, thank you, thank you very much for watching this video. I really appreciate you.